Hey guys, welcome back. We got a 60 watt CO2. So we have been in talks with Momport and come to an agreement about the 60 watt CO2 and it got here today. Talk you through well we're gonna walk you through um, unboxing it and getting it to fit in our garage so the crate was delivered this morning by the freight truck it's a 230 pound crate uh, so we're gonna unbox it out here in the driveway but it's on wheels to make it easier to get in the garage all right I've got all the screws out of the top so let's open it up There she is. All right, we're going to get the camera on the tripod and then see what we need to do to get this opened. May need crowbars, but we'll get it open and see what we need to do from there. So the four feet are all bolted down, so we're going to take those out. We'll make sure the wheels um, are can take the weight, so we'll probably have to raise up the, the feet, and then we'll be able to take it off and roll it in. All right, just use an unadjustable wrench. Got it to the right size. And then just loosen it a little bit, and you can raise it up. Now it's going to be on the wheel. Alright, it's in. Now let's unpack it. Alright, we're going to pull off the saran wrap. That crate was really nice. Everything looks good. No dents or bumps. So we'll get this off and get inside of it and go through the list. Hydraulic door, very nice. Um, honeycomb bed, lasers covered. It's tied down so it won't move. That is awesome. Looks like cases all around. There should be keys somewhere. Keys on that, and there should be a, I assume, a package with. Everything in it, uh, water pump, software, USB, it's supposed to have things with it, so we'll see if we can find it. Okay. Found the keys. So that's what we need, and then there's a cardboard box down in there so I assume everything is underneath the bed yep okay bag we can go through right. bag first ethernet cable USB, 
And it looks like there's a little USB drive. I assume that's what the software comes on. Laser glasses. Very green laser glasses. I believe this is the silicone for the tube. Yep, silicone for the tube. Oh, lots of Allen wrenches to work on this. Very nice instruction manual. Oh, that's cool. Looks very comprehensive. Power cable. Tape. Okay. I'm sure there's a breakdown of what all that is in the manual. I'm guessing water pump. Boom, backboard. Yep, water pump and a bunch of pieces all over. It does not come with a reservoir. I believe the uh, higher end machines actually do come with a reservoir. Or I guess the bigger ones, the ones that are taller, I think they're 20 by 24. This is a 16 by 24. Yep, so we'll have to figure that out as well as the reservoir. Probably use a five gallon bucket just like we did with the K40. Looks like the last little bit. For your hose. Some extra wire. Have to look in the manual. And the tube for the water. Which, if we look around the back, water in and out down here, as well as where your exhaust is going to be, and that's what that ring's for. So that ring will hook the exhaust to the outlet. So let's keep opening stuff up, make sure everything looks good, the laser in the other compartments on the power side. Uh, before we do any kind of plug-in, uh, we're going to check all that and probably look over the manual a bit. Top compartment's gonna be where the tube is. Yep. Tube there. We'll need to remove the bags on the mirrors. Let's go ahead and do that now. I believe the tape needs pulled also. Not 100% sure on if all this tape needs pulled off, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let me know in the comments if I'm not supposed to do this. You can see the water is going to come in this side, which it looks like it runs behind all the way. So in one side, out the other side, and then that'll go down there. So the laser looks good. The laser tube looks good. We might have to do adjustments, but these pieces look great as far as any kind of adjustments go. Hopefully it's lined up. They do it from the factory, but you know things can jostle in transit. So we'll check that. Let's check out this bottom one. All right. 
right. So, looks like this would be the Z-axis motor. It'll raise and lower your bed. Uh, the pumps, that's really cool. For the water, the exhaust fan. Oh, and there's a hose. Great, so it does come with a hose. I believe this is the compressor because it does have air assist built in uh, from the get-go, so no need to upgrade that. Alright, this one was actually open, so it's a good thing they have it packed tight, because this is where all of your power is at. High voltage, uh, don't mess with this. I wouldn't even open this unless you've got the machine unplugged, but we can kind of look at that. I'm not sure what all of that does right now. Power supplies there, but then there's motor, power supplies for motors, relays probably for everything, and looks like a nice little distribution block. Looks very clean in here. I know we saw the uh, wheels before, but it does have a locker, so you can lock the machine in place with the wheels. That's awesome. With our garage, we'll probably need to uh, keep it on the wheels so that we can kind of move it around. So we'll use the lockers when we're uh, getting ready to burn. This right here, it looks like so you could put a bigger tube on it and put an extension here uh, if you wanted to upgrade it. Not sure what will be in here. Still not really sure. Access panel. Uh, it looks like if this was low enough it could sit on there, but I'm not really sure that's what that's for. This is your pass-through, um, which is awesome. So you can put pieces through there. I guess maybe you could put it through here if it was taller. Not really sure. have to look at that. This is considered a DSP, which I believe need, means we'll need a different version of light burn to run through here. Looks like you got your emergency stop, twist to unlock, push down to lock, and then awesome, a on and off that is keyed. Yep. And it was keyed on when it came, so you can go ahead and turn that off now. And then... Looks like we've got a couple more bags to remove. The certificate. What is? Let's see. Certificate of conformity. December 22, 2022. So, great. I guess that's probably when they tested it. We've got our laser head. Very fancy. And the last mirror is there. And that is the three mirrors. Mirror on the head, uh, mirror in the back with the where the laser's at, and it shoots to this one, and this one shoots here. And then air pump right here. I assume it goes in there. It also, I believe, has a laser for guidance in there, as well as this one does have, it's hard to see because of where the gantry's at, but if you look down here, right here, this is an auto Z axis. So this is not manual. It will actually auto adjust for us and get the exact height. Super excited to test that and see how that works. Honeycomb is back in. Everything is almost unwrapped. We have that, and I believe there is something over the keyhole. There we go. And I believe the glass should be it.
I'd say it might be easier to take it off. So we're gonna take it off. All right, if you choose to go that route, it is an eight millimeter. That took a bit of finagling. I uh, didn't want to come off of all these, but we were able to get in there and get it all out. All right, so last thing we want to do is we want to turn it on, make sure it all works, make sure it powers up, uh, not going to fire it all right now. Do not have water hooked up or the exhaust. Uh, we'll probably do that next time. It's starting to get a little longer. Uh, but <clears throat> have it plugged in. Um, keys in the off position. And we'll let the stop up. See what it does. Powers up correctly. You can hear it moving. I'm guessing that means that the limits are going to be back right. That is a laser pointer to show us where we're at. Air assist is on. Make sure it's on. Yep, air assist is definitely on. I can see that the exhaust fan is on. It moved around. Let me see if... Yep. So we can certainly move it around. I'll have to figure out how to move the Z axis. Not really sure. I'll probably need to read the manual and read up on these kind of controllers. But lights on, everything's moving well. This looks like it's just a laser switch. So we'll test that next time also when we have everything hooked up. But I don't think the laser will fire with this turned off will confirm that though and so yeah I'm gonna turn this back off fan slows down everything shuts off everything looks great does not auto home itself no surprise most of them don't at the end but it should go back oh, so yeah this is what this is gonna be so this is going to be the uh, limit switch and then you can see there's one in the back there there's one here as well so that's going to be the limit switches and i'll read the manual to find out more about that all right that's going to be it for this week but we will be doing uh, a lot more work on this super excited to have this one and definitely wanted to thank monport for that uh, we've got a lot of things lined up we're going to do on it and it's going to be exciting so don't forget we've got a discount code for 10% in our description, and we will see you next time.